Okay, so this is not how it's supposed to look. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm not used to seeing my hair like this. This is definitely a fail without a shadow of a doubt. And if you wanna see my failed attempt at a twist out, stay tuned. And y'all know how we do, we're jumping right in with no chill. So I want to start off by showing you guys the deep conditioning process, which is something that I never do. And the reason being is I use something different. I use the Meyer and Organics Rosemary Mint Deep Conditioner. And I want you guys to watch something, watch real close, how easy it is for me to detangle. Now, I'm not going to show you guys the full detangling process because you guys have seen that before, but I just want to show you the glide. I mean, just just look at that. Just take a minute and just watch. Now, if you guys did not notice I'm gonna tell you, look how easy it is for me to detangle. When I tell you guys, this was my first time, and I've said it before, but this is my first time using this deep conditioner, and it is the truth. Already, I'm in love with it. And if you are wondering what is in that spray bottle, it's nothing but water and conditioner. I always spray my hair with conditioner versus regular water to re-wet my hair before I apply any type of deep conditioner just to help the deep conditioner with slip. And just like that, that section is done. Now look closely, you really can see the shine and you can see how hydrated my hair looks. When I tell y'all I love me some Myra Organics, I really, really do. I just, I do. All right, so the deep conditioner has been applied to the whole head and we're going to go ahead and start styling. But notice one thing before we get into the styling, that the hair looks pretty doggone hydrated, doesn't it? When I tell you, once I rinse that deep conditioner out, my hair was so, so soft. The first thing I'm going to do for hydration before the style is apply Myel Organics Pomegranate Lines Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I swear by this stuff. This stuff cuts through tangles like, like no product that I have ever used before. It's kind of poetic, almost magical. On top of the leave-in, you guys know I always seal with my wild growth oil. For my twist out, I chose to use their twisting souffle. And I must say, this is not my favorite product of their line. However, I have a half of, of a container left. So I just want to go ahead and get rid of it. But with this video, I just want to show you guys why I don't get down with this product very much. So the reason why I'm not a fan of this product is because this product has a hard time with smoothing and shaping the hair in order for you to create a smooth finish with your twist styles. It seems that no matter how many times you try to smooth this product in, it is not going to lay the hair down. Now I know some of you guys are saying it's a cream, but I've used leave-in conditioner and got better sets. However, I will say this, this product provides you with loads, and I do mean loads, of moisture. And as you can see here, the detangling process is a breeze. So it's good for that. It's just for me and my type of hair, I've never had a great twist out with this. I always had to pair it up with something else. But I can't be too upset with the product because A, I purchased it and B, I read on the bottle that it says semi-definition. So any style that I have when it comes to twist style, I should automatically expect that my curls aren't going to be as defined as I would like. 
And this product is true to its objective. It gives you semi definition. And you'll see what I mean later on in the video. But do you see what I mean by hydration? The first twist that I did looks so plump and so juicy. You can tell that this product loves my hair. And I don't know why I had the unmitigated gall today to use this product. I just figured, hey, why not? Maybe I get a different result because I'm recording for you guys. But, but when I got to the end, when I was taking out my twist, I distinctively remember why. In the past, I've always used this styler as a leave-in and not as the primary styler. I always used to use the styling custer and this combined to get some of my best twist outs. So once again, I don't know where this idea came from for me to just use this once again as just a primary styler when I know for a fact it don't do that well for me. Just like that we are in the front and I have to say this is my favorite part of this video because you can see how juicy my hair looks I talked about it earlier but now that you see that the whole head is about done this stuff is just awesome and you can see how the leave-in conditioner just just works with my hair Here's that moment when you remember how great my hair organics is. You can clearly see how much my hair loves this line. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and get the last one twisted up. And did you see how gentle I was on those edges? Yes, ma'am, we are here to protect them. Now we are fully done. I just want to give you guys a close up of what all the twists look like. Now I did tell you that this product does well with moisturizing, but not necessarily helping to smooth and form great twists, which is the reason why my roots look a little bit puffy. They look a little bit frizzy. That's to be expected. So it is one day later. I allowed my hair to fully dry. And let's get these twists taken down so we can see the results. OMG, this hair looks like second day hair. I mean, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. All the frizz, man, all the frizz. Now, right after I took the first one down, I realized that I messed up. I messed up bad. And it sucks because I was supposed to be going out on a date today, so I had to wear my hair like this. But I don't know, you guys tell me, could I just be blowing this hair out of proportion? Because when we went out, cause I actually did go out with this hair, I got so many compliments on it and it was the weirdest thing ever. I don't know, it, it may have been because I did say the style right out there and I'll talk to you guys about that later. But as always, I'm going to smooth down my edges. And this time I decided to smooth back a lot of hair instead of just the, just the primary section that I usually smooth down. I 
I tell you, this part of my hair, I am proud of because y'all know I don't need no brush. I just be using it for y'all, but I usually don't brush down my edges because it's not necessary. But it's so funny because this hair looks the best and I can laugh at it now, but when I got through with this style, I was pretty pissed. So here is a close up of my curls and as you can see, yeah, this is not it. I just, uh, this is not it. But them edges popping though, right? Popping. So this is the final look. Now I know someone is gonna say, it doesn't look that bad, but I'm not used to my hair looking like this. It really looks like I just got showered by a complete rainstorm and then spit out by a hurricane. This is not it, but I'm not so surprised at how my hair turned out because I did use the twist and souffle like I said earlier and it does provide semi definition which is partly why my hair may have turned out like this. But you know, you can't win them all. And even though this is a fail, the way that I clean up my fails when it comes to my twist outs, because I, I rarely have them. But what I usually do is take my pick and I mess it up. I create big hair. You ever seen one of those wigs that is just gigantic and it has little to no definition, but it looks nice? on the person's face because it's big. That's usually what I'm going for when I pick so, my hair out. with that being said, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.